Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous. Assalamu alaikum. Um, Brother Bilal Kima, I can't tell you how much I have really enjoyed um, and appreciated the comments that we are hearing tonight. So I just want to commend you and the entire team. It is clear that you have all worked hard and it is noted and greatly appreciated. I acknowledge that I'm joining you from Waterloo, Ontario on the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, Anishinaabeg and neutral people. I want to thank Masjid Al Jamia, the British Columbia Muslim Association, Islam Unraveled, the Muslim Care Center, and the many others for your efforts in organizing this virtual gathering and bringing us together on this solemn day of remembrance. As communities linked by a shared faith, I know you understand the necessity of staying connected, even though circumstances might force us to be physically apart. You have stepped up time after time to support each other, to support all those around you. While there are countless examples to choose from, right now I'm thinking particularly about how the Masjid al Jamia reached out by publicly broadcasting the call to prayer during the holy month of Ramadan, just so community members could remain connected. And on a day like today, it is crucial that we find ways to come together with love and support. Four years ago, just after evening prayer at the Grand Mosque of Quebec City, Six brothers, they were sons, fathers, uncles, friends, community builders. They were people, they were killed and 19 others were seriously injured in an unspeakable act of violence that shocked the nation, shook Canadians of all backgrounds across the country, shattered the Muslim community in St. Foy as well as across the country and scarred Canadians from coast to coast to coast. I can never forget that this happened in a place of worship, a place consecrated to love, peace, and belonging, a place where we should all feel safe is all the more difficult to bear. Today, we wear green squares over our hearts to honor the victims and the survivors of this tragedy, those who died and those who will live with scars and the memories of that terrifying day. And every Muslim, who continues to experience hate and violence across Canada. There are two additional lasting ways to honor and remember the victims of the Quebec City mass shooting. On December 1st, 2020, Quebec City inaugurated the Beaver Ensemble Living Together Memorial, funded through a partnership with the Quebec City, the Government of Quebec and the Government of Canada through the Department of Canadian Heritage. This touching work is laid out in two zones one near the Islamic Cultural Center and the other at the heritage site of the visitation, devoted to the Catholic faith. It symbolizes the meeting of two communities and it is a poignant reminder that we are stronger and we are better when we are united. And as has been mentioned yesterday, our government announced that January 29th will officially be designated as a National Day of Remembrance of the Quebec City Mosque Attack and Action Against Islamophobia. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, the Government of Canada is unwavering in its commitment to inclusion while combating systemic racism, prejudice and discrimination in all of its forms. To eliminate discrimination and hate in communities from coast to coast to coast, we must confront it head on. We must name it and reject it. Islamophobia, xenophobia, and other forms of racism have no place in Canada that we continue to build together. But we know that racism exists in Canada. To wish it wouldn't isn't enough. That's why we introduced the Federal Anti-Racism Secretariat created under Canada's anti-racism strategy, which engages with all levels of government, civil society, indigenous peoples, and diverse racialized and religious communities to address, amongst other things, anti-Black, anti-Indigenous, and anti-Asian, as well as anti-Semitism and Islamophobia. Its goal is to identify systemic barriers and gaps in federal policies, programs, and services, kickstart new initiatives, and develop further areas for action. We also know that one very serious challenge we face, and a significant factor in the Quebec City mass shooting, is the proliferation of hate and violent rhetoric online. In fact, the theme for this year's memorial 
is working together in reducing online hate to prevent real world violence. As Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has said, we must always work to protect, protect our way of life and not give, give comfort to those who promote things that are not true or give space for hatred or extremism. Right now, our government is working hard to introduce new legislation that will directly address the spread of online hate in Canada in the interest of creating a safer, more equitable and more inclusive online spaces for everyone. As a government, as Canadians and as civil society dedicated to diversity and inclusion, I know that none of us will ever stand idly by and allow Islamophobia, racism, discrimination or hate to go unchallenged nor will we falter under the threat of unacceptable violence. I encourage you to continue working with your members of parliament and I acknowledge joining us tonight is your local member of parliament, Sukdaliwal, MP Randeep Sarai, the Minister of Employment, Workforce Development and Disability Inclusion, the Honorable Carla Qualtro, and dear friend and colleague, the Minister of National Defense, the Honorable Harjit Sajjan, who you will hear from shortly. As Minister of Diversity and Inclusion in Youth and as a Member of Parliament for Waterloo, I'm committed more than ever. My Canada is an inclusive Canada. Together we will build a safer and consciously more inclusive Canada for everyone. We will stand united and prevail. Merci pour votre temps. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your leadership. Please keep well and safe and know that we stand with you. Assalamu alaikum.